What's up Prince Squad? I'm back with another video and today the item that I ordered came in. It's right here. So if you watched my last video, you know what this is. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I set my registration system up. So if you want to see how everything turns out, just stay tuned. if you know what I mean like gently opening stuff okay right here I have two core class boards if I can get them out of here let me see they tape tight around this part right here so I'm going to have to cut that and this. Okay, and it's also tape on one of the core plus boards for some reason. I just can't really see why they needed that. Man, it's just kind of a struggle to open this. And it shouldn't be that hard to open it. Okay, this came with two pieces of core plast. And I don't like how this one is kind of bent on the end right here. Stuff like that is kind of irritating to me. So I'm, I'm only gonna need one of them. And the other one, I'm just gonna um put it up in case I need it for something else later. But yeah, this is actually a 24 by 36 inch or two foot by three foot uh, Coraplex board. So this is the perfect size that I needed for my registration template. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my registration template and the tape and everything I'm gonna need. And I'm gonna meet you guys over at the other table. Okay, I now have my registration template. So I'm gonna place everything on my larger table. Here's everything right here ready to go on here. I'm gonna use this box to hold it down for a minute while I grab my tape. Okay, and I had said I was gonna use double-sided tape, but I don't know if I want to use the double-sided tape. I don't know if I want this to be a permanent thing. I'm just gonna uh, tape it down like this so I can see how everything works out. It's printed on this back side right here, so I'm just gonna tape it on this front side. I'm probably gonna need my thicker tape, so I'm gonna grab it right quick. Grab this packing tape, cause I think this will go ahead and knock things out a little bit quicker. Hang that part off the edge. Okay, so this is what it's looking like now, and I can hold it all with one hand and shake it, and it's not gonna come off. But yeah, so this is the, the screen registration, so now I have it like this, and I can use it very easily now, and don't have to worry about it rolling up on me. I may go back and add a little more tape, but I think this is gonna hold it pretty good or pretty well. That's basically all I'm gonna do, and that way I can kinda like slide it 
I can store it on the side, out of the way, you know, and um, it'll be easy to store. And I'll tell you guys what, I'm gonna show you how I'm planning to use it in my dark room when I'm registering screens, just to kind of show you guys this, and then I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. But yeah, once you get it on something like this, there's numerous ways that you can use it, but I'm gonna show you guys how I plan on using it. Okay, so I am in the dark room now, and here it is right here. I don't know where, exactly where I'm gonna store it yet, but um, I probably put it in here beside this table right here. Just slide it in here. I have some other things slid in there also, but yeah, so basically the way that I plan to use it, I have my setup in this corner right here. So basically I could put it on this table and that way it's, I'm in the dark room and I'm out of the light or whatever. Okay, I'm gonna close the door to my dark room because in real life, this is how it's gonna be. I'm gonna be closed up in this small little area and I'll have my transparency film right here and I will take my tape and make sure that the tape is facing up and then I will take it and right here you can, well, I don't know if you can see, but I showed you in the other video, the 20 by 24 inch screen, start at the edge of it and go down three, three blocks and center it. Once I have it centered on there, then I would take my screen right here and I would start it off down here at the bottom. Make sure it's lined up on the sides and then I would lay it down flat and rub the edges where the tape is facing up. And once the tape sticks to it, you know, I would, I would pick the screen up, take this guy, put this guy out the way, put this screen face down on here so that it's ready to burn and that's basically how I plan to use it for right now and that's part of why I didn't want to put it on something um permanently because I don't know I may end up changing it I'm not sure right now but this right now is the way that I plan on using it so thank you guys for watching if you like the video or help you out be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be sure to tune in each week because I post videos like this all the time and if you're interested in any of the products or equipment that I use check down below and I also have other goodies such as coupon codes down there so make sure you check that out and if you are not a member of the print squad group on Facebook click on the link down below and go over and request to join and answer the two questions and you will be part of the print squad group and I thank you guys for watching I will see you in the next video print squad out I can do this a few different ways and actually I will probably turn it this way let me see how I'm gonna fit up in here because my little room is small turn it this way I don't know if y'all could tell, but I just fake cutting it out. I thought I had the camera on when I just opened it, but it wasn't on.